I thought it would be fun to take a look back and see how everything's going to be all white for Showtime is doing. Is the show taking off? Is anybody talking about it? And the answer quickly is no. What I do want to bring your attention to is this right here. The fact that the trailer with 2 million views is sitting at 107,000 dislikes to 3.1K likes. That's pretty embarrassing, I would say. Pretty embarrassing. And I wonder if Showtime is looking at this and saying, what did we do? Why did we do this? People sure are sick of this trash. And they are. Tired of seeing seeing shows and documentaries telling me that I'm a gigantic piece of shit, which is basically what this is. There's been millions of shows and documentaries and people on social media saying this shit for years now. And I think people are getting a little sick of it. I think people are getting a little sick of it. So I saw this 107K dislikes and I said, wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. I mean, it's up there with Lord of the Rings now. It's up there with Lord of the Rings, which is currently sitting at 115,000, I believe. But it's a little bit closer in its ratio. You still have like 100,000 people that like it. It just shows you that there's a divide. In this one, there's a seems to be a unifying voice here of people saying this is garbage. And in an even more hilarious update, you got 2 million people that have watched this trailer and you couldn't even get a fraction of that to come watch the free first episode. Now, if you like this, you have to sign up to Showtime to watch the rest. I don't know why you would. Uh, but this is free, and they couldn't even get a fraction of the people that watched the trailer to come watch it. That should tell you something, too. And this has also been ratioed, which I find hilarious. Nowhere near as many as the trailer, but you couldn't get anybody to come watch your free uh, lecture video anyway. Another interesting tidbit is that it's one of the least popular shows of all time over on IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Sitting at a one-star rating. Pretty sad. Pretty sad. Like, people are pretty much destroying this in the user reviews. And I think that that's great. To the reviewers giving this 10 stars, I've got some news for you. First and foremost, importantly, this show is objectively full of lies a spiteful combination of hateful humor and packed with propagandist education. Thing is, if you if you are the kind of person who would give this 10 stars, you're probably already a hateful bigot. You know what else the 10-star ratings and dog whistle-filled reviews have in common? The people writing them are largely who the show is intended for. It's their community being self-harmed by this nonsense. That's apparently the top review for IMDb. Top review. So, you know, I wonder if HBO, or not HBO, excuse me, uh, Showtime regrets this. Because HBO, I'm sure, regrets Santa Inc., which is about as popular as this pile of shit. Another funny fact, and another thing this, thing, this show has in common with Santa Inc., is no critic will touch it. There's one review out there, and it's the Hollywood Reporter. I believe it's the Hollywood Reporter. I'm pretty sure it is. And they didn't even submit it to Rotten Tomatoes, which should tell you something. Still, no critics have bothered to weigh in and review the show, which I find even more hilarious. It's like they're just ignoring it. When this should be right up there, like they love woke shows. So why isn't this being touched? I I think it's it, I think it's kind of curious. And then we have this. No one's talking about it either. I mean, one week ago was the last time anybody talked about this show in the in the mainstream. 
And I have some questions. So why is this being ignored? Why are they afraid to touch it? Why won't they review it? I had the same question for Santa Inc. That show was ignored as well. It put, clearly, it needs some saving because the ratings for the show are awful and it's getting destroyed in the comments, which they've had to turn off, and the like to dislike ratio, which they probably left on because of the fact that, well, you can't see the dislikes unless you have the Google extension, which I hear they're going to leave alone, which is great. So anyway, oh, another important thing to point out here is I, technically this isn't a pile on either because most people can't even see the dislikes anymore, but they're still disliking it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video, make sure you're still subscribed, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.